fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to Nirvana. Yes, indeed. Nirvana fans feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Crooked Spine. Crooked Spine wanted to see me react to this song from Nirvana called Paper Cuts. Ah! And those suck, don't they? God, I hate paper cuts. All right, so, Paper Cuts, the song Paper Cuts. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I've never heard this song. I don't think I have. It doesn't strike a bell with me. Now, look, as always, if I start listening to the song and I go, oh, wait, yeah, I've heard this before, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Nirvana Grunge 87 and the video has 1.56 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Nirvana paper cuts. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> Time out. All right, I'm hearing a lot of dissonant notes. Um, I can't tell if it's the seven under the one and the one together, or if it's the one with the flat two above it. I. Da, 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 da. I think it's the seven and the one. I. Uh... Oh, actually, it might be five. Five and flat six. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so it's the flat five and the five. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so it's the flat five and the five being played together. Interesting. Um, very dissonant. Definitely eye-catching. Definitely, well, not eye-catching. Definitely ear-catching. That got my attention real quick. Um, I like notes like that. I, I, I do. I Believe it or not, I actually do like those when they're used appropriately and if they're not overly used. Now, so far... They're using them. 
I, I wouldn't say they're overusing them yet. Like, if they do this every measure through the entire song, that might be a problem. But I, I like dissonance. I, I do. Because it, it gets your attention. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. Like, what? where's this going? What's happening? What's coming next? So I got no problem with it. As long as there's more to the song than just that. So let's see what happens. Oh, excuse me. Ah, excuse me. So let's see what happens here. Very Alice in Chains On this section right here, tell me, tell me if I'm wrong, tell me if I'm weird, tell me if I'm out of my mind. Does this section right here sound like Alice in Chains? Hold on. Right here. Tell me this chordal progression with the dissonant notes and those flat fives. Tell me this doesn't sound like Alice in Chains. Some really interesting things happening in there. Um, stuff I never saw coming. Interesting stuff. Definitely interesting. I do have some thoughts. <laughs> of course I have some thoughts. Come on. You know me. Of course I have some thoughts. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the review. I'll, I got some thoughts for you. Well, there you go, folks. That was Nirvana with Paper Cuts. This was a request from Crooked Spine. Okay, um, I think I might actually shock some people with this. I, I think there's a good chance some people are going to have to do a double take and rewind and hear and make sure they heard exactly what they heard. On a scale of 1 to 10, believe it or not, uh, this is up there. This is up there. I'm going to give this an 8.3. Yep, 8.3. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? There were... Two things in particular about this song that I really enjoyed. 
I will also say there was absolutely nothing about this song that hurt my ears or I didn't like or I hated or anything like that. There was I, I can't find anything negative about this song, believe it or not. Now, most of the song, it was just kind of like middle ground with me. It was like, okay, it's cool. It's okay. It's good. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, you know, really good here and there. There are two things in particular, though, that stood out to me as being great. And not just great, but really great. So, let me get to those two things, okay? The two most important things. One, the subdivisions on this, the, 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 the counting on this, stopping on the two, not on the and of two, but on the two. So it would, of the second measure each time. So first measure, one and two and three and four and one and two, and the drums would lay out. And then you would hear the guitar go, and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Da, 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 da. Very cool. Catchy as hell. I'm sorry. Nothing else about the song. I, I, if, I, if I don't remember anything else about the song, I'm going to remember that. Why? Because it was different. You don't hear too many songs that do that. The dun 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 it, it's so catchy, man. And that's all thanks to the drummer with those heavy handed Tom hits and accenting with the snare. So heavy with the kick and the toms and hitting that hard accent on the snare on two and four also on four um that was a big selling point to me i i have i have not heard a song like that I'm, I'm sure i have but nothing comes to mind off the top of my head and it's been a while since i've heard that type of a groove and that kind of a uh drum setup for you know a melodic uh, follow-through which is really nice uh, the other thing I really liked about this was the dissonance. And like I said earlier, those flat fives and those flat twos or the seven under the ones or well, however they're getting the dissonance, it's a semitone. It's a single semitone between two notes and you get that really dissonant sound. I dug it. And what I loved about this is they didn't overdo it. It wasn't dissonant through the entire song. There was lots of places where they would do split octaves. There were a lot of places where they would do fifths. It wasn't always dissonant note, dissonant note, dissonant note, dissonant note, dissonant note, dissonant note, dissonant note. It wasn't like that through the entire song. Now, they did it more as like accents. Now, did it happen in every measure? Not exactly, but it happened in a lot of measures, but it wasn't every single note. That's my point. It wasn't overdone. It was done just enough to get your attention, kick you in the back of the pants and go, hey, guess what? You're here at the party. Enjoy yourself. And a dissonant note. And it's like, oh God. But at the same time, you're like, yes, more. Like, yeah, think, I don't know. Think like masochism or something like that. Think, oh, think a little God. BDSM right there. Oh, yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. Give a thwack. Yes. Give another thwack. Yes. Two more thwacks! Give it two more thwacks! That's right. That's what I'm talking about. No, this... I, I I enjoyed it. Believe it or not, I actually enjoyed this. This was not... It, it wasn't even not bad. It wasn't even pretty good. It was actually really good across the board. But those two things, the dissonance and the drum pattern, man, they were really great. And that's why it brought it out of the really goods and up into the low greats. It's still a great though, that's the thing. And a lot of people are gonna be like, well, 8.3 is too low. No, I disagree. It is a great score. Remember, if you're not sure, look down below at my scoring chart. 8.0 is the bomb threshold for greatness. So this is actually 0.3 higher than that. So this has actually got a really great score, believe it or not. So 8.3, final score, I have spoken. 
Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you'll enjoy the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.